In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can use AI to build your first AI chat and AI voice bot. Okay, it's gonna be one assistant, it'll be able to do both chat and voice. Now in this specific uh, video here, we're gonna keep it very simple. We're gonna basically give it, I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to best use a generate uh, assistant feature in assistable.ai. And then in future videos in our school group, I'll be showing exactly how you can build on top of that to make it a very comprehensive and bespoke assistant that can do a lot of different things, you know, extracting information from the, from the conversations, uh, sending links, uh, maybe searching the web for different things, all sorts of different things. This will be the foundation that we can build on top of. Okay, let's go over to our assistable, go to assistants, create new assistant. Over here, we're gonna just quickly put in the name we're gonna do it for a home builder of all things, and a custom home builder. Now, a couple of tips and tricks here. Uh, if you have documentation training that maybe you use to train your employees, your VAs, uh, whatever you have on your business, uh, SOPs and things like that, it can be very beneficial to drop that in here if it's specific to the purpose of this assistant. So a couple of things you wanna keep in mind here is you wanna share something regarding the identity of who this assistant is. You wanna go ahead and drop in some details on who the company it is that they're working for, as well as you wanna put in information on the task. Like what do you want them to do? Okay, so, in this case, we're gonna have a qualifying assistant. Basically, it could be used in cases where uh, users reach, in to, reach out through Google, uh, or if they reach out through the website, or if they reach out through Facebook ads, okay? This would be the qualifying uh, assistant that will be the, the speed to lead, as we would consider, right? To respond fast. So I'll drop the prompt in here. I already pre-wrote a little something just so I, we can make this video a little bit shorter. Um, but we'll, we'll go through it here. So you are Kelly, the receptionist at Graco Homes, made up name, a custom home builder. Graco Homes focuses on building and high-end homes in Alberta. Uh, maybe we could call that luxury homes, either way. In uh, Calgary. Your goal is to qualify leads and book them into an appointment. A couple of things you, sh you should check for. Now, as you can see here, I'm starting to work on the task here. Uh, we need, and a couple questions that we want to ask. And if you know your industry well, you obviously know how to best word the questions. Like, what are the things you need to ask for, right? But even if you don't have that, you'll be amazed and surprised at how well it, it comes up with different things to ask. Okay. Now, so a couple questions. Are they looking for a new build or renovation? Do they have a lot to build on or still need to purchase it? What is their budget? And what is their timeline? If they're planning to start building in the next six months or less, then ask if they'd be interested in building and booking an appointment to discuss further. If they're not planning to build till after six months, then ask if they'd be interested in a custom home building masterclass that would show them, that would give them a leg up in building their new home, where to spend the best spend the money, design options, etc. So now let's go ahead and take a look. Once we create this, I'm going to hit that button here now. Now this can take up to 30 seconds, a minute or whatever, and it will come up with our prompt that will be our foundation off of which we can build, okay? So I'll just pause the video here so you don't have to wait for these 30 seconds. So now we have that assistant created. Now the beautiful thing is that it's almost ready to be deployed. Um, there's no workflows that we need for this to function, not a single workflow to make this work in both chat and calls. Can you imagine like it's, if you've used Go High Level beforehand, you might know some other um, assistant providers like chatbot creators and whatever. Most of them use a web of workflows. We don't have to use a single one here. Now let's go in and just take a look at the prompt. So here we have the identity. So who it is, Professional receptionist at that place, home builder specializing in high-end luxury homes. Kelly's role is to engage in potential clients, qualify them, blah, blah, blah. Kelly has a warm demeanor. Good, good, good. Now, as you can see, right away, we have some style guidelines. And this is important if you've worked with AI before, um, that we tell it how to respond. So be concise, embrace variety, be conversational, proactive. Um, avoid multiple questions in a single response, very important. Get clarity. See, it's right here. And what did it take me? About one minute. Like you could come up with this it's so fast. Now we have adapt and guess, um, stay in character, ensure fluid dialogue, do not 
If you do not know something, basically telling it, do not lie. Okay, so now let's take a look at the task. And this is honestly where the where the gears are. Like this is what makes it work, right? As far as the prompting goes. So greet the user warmly. Ask the user if they're interested in building a new home renovation. As you can see, like it's pulling the qualify qualification questions right here. Inquire if the user has a lot to build on or if they still need to purchase one. Ask the user's budget for the for their project. Determine the user's timeline for starting the process. If the user plans to start, no, this is getting fun here. Look at this right here, number six. If the user plans to start building within six months, now it's going into an if else situation here. Do you see that? So express enthusiasm. Ask if they'd be interested in booking an appointment. If the user agrees, collect their contact information. Boom, 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 boom. Smart. I didn't even tell it to do that. And then schedule an appointment at a convenient time for them. Provide any necessary details about the appointment, such as location, duration, and whatever is expected. So in this here, you might want to do a little bit, give it a little bit of detail on what, what the appointment will be like, right? So these are things that that's why we go through it here now after this, okay? So then we would make those changes here. Now, if the user's timeline is longer than six months, Offer information about the Graco bah, 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 masterclass, highlighting how it can give them a leg up in building their new home, provide insights where best to spend money, explore design options, etc. If the user expresses interest, collect their contact information and provide details on how to register or attend. As you can see here, it it didn't go into booking uh, where previously it asked for the, the contact information over here. But if we follow the conversation, it wouldn't have asked that yet because of the process here right so now it's again saying collect the information which is brilliant that's really really good now thank you for their interest in graco homes express the units da, 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 and boom so now what we what we'll do in future videos is i'll show you how you can use um the different custom tools and things like that to extract different details and data like we can literally pop the details the answers to these questions we can pop them into the crm as well as we can go ahead and obviously send a link via call or via text meaning like if you're on the call if, if this assistant is on the call with them then we can still send them the information via text and if they're via text obviously it's very easy to just drop a link into that as well so that is for future videos go ahead and uh, click the link down below if you're not in my school group yet or if you don't have assistable.ai yet um if you use my affiliate link for that you'll get free access to the school group and anyway that's where the other place where we're hosting more videos like this uh to just basically give users <laughs> a leg up to help you accelerate and get going fast using assistable.ai and I just want to mention, obviously, we'll be going through these different settings and things in the future videos in the school group to give comprehensive training for each piece here.